Oh, what is up, y'all? Well, put on my stories. I was going out for a run. Said I was going to make it in my head. It's going to make it five miles. It's over 100 degrees, and I stopped at 4.03. And I felt a little bad for a minute. I felt like I didn't do what I set out to do. I, I guess I thought I failed. But then I reminded myself of an affirmation that you should be reminding yourself of often. It's progress, not perfection. A lot of times we try to be perfect. I posted the other day about it being okay to be a work in progress. But do you believe that? See, we're surrounded by a lot of negativity. We're surrounded by a lot of things that are definitely not going right in this world. But somehow, when we look and see other people and play that comparison game, we think they're perfect and we think the goal for us then should be that we're perfect. But the goal should be progress, not perfection. So my point here is this. I said I was gonna run five miles. And you're right, I didn't run five. But typically, I'm running in the morning for two miles consistently, sometimes a 5K, the 3.1. So my question is, did I really fail by running four? Because to me, that's progress. Because I'm a little further than I was yesterday. I'm a little further than I was 40 minutes ago. I worry a lot of you look at things and think you have to be perfect. And if we can be vulnerable and honest here, myself included, a lot of times you feel like you're not worthy. Like you're not worthy of the praise. Like you're not worthy of love. Like you're not worthy of acceptance because of things that happened in the past or perceived failures in the past or currently where you're at in life is not where you wanna be. But the only true way you can fail is just by giving up. You know, I could have stopped at four miles and sat on the curb, but I'm walking this mile back because I'm showing myself I can do it. You know, at the end of our episodes and on most of our content recently, we say we love y'all. That's what we say. First of all, we mean it. Second of all, I read an article not a while back that said most people go through an entire day without hearing they're loved. Most people go through an entire day without hearing they're worthy. The thing is, that's astonishing to me. Now, I don't know whether it's because most people are just busy and rushing out of the house or rushing around and keeping themselves busy doing all the things that they're supposed to be doing or if it's because they truly don't have anyone around them that can show them love. And that's sad, which is why we always tell people they're loved because whether I know you or not, whether Megan knows you or not, you are loved. You're created for love. You're created to serve other people. You don't have to worry about being worthy. You are worthy. A lot of us look for acceptance in the wrong places is the problem, if you want the honest truth. We're looking for acceptance from complete strangers on the internet. We're looking for acceptance from our Instagram feed. We're looking for acceptance from our story views. We're looking for acceptance from our colleagues or boss at work. Surround yourself with people that show you you're accepted and you're okay just the way you are. 
that you're okay to be a work in progress. And that's just been on my heart today, y'all. Because while I'm kicking myself and knocking myself down and my inner voice is yelling at me that you're not worthy, that you didn't complete your goal, that you failed, that you're a failure, quickly my other program voice came in and said, no, that's not true. You progressed. You made it further. You could have stopped three miles ago. You kept going. Because I was feeling the hurt pretty early on. The goal should be comparing yourself to the person you were yesterday and the person before that. Strive to be better and make progress from that person. Move yourself forward and always remember that you're worthy. Now I'm going to end this the way that we end all of our podcasts. The way that I try to end all of our Instagrams. (laughs) Meg always laughs when I say Instagrams. We love y'all. So whether you've heard it today or not, you are loved. You're capable of so much more. You've been through hard things before. You've seen the other side. You'll continue to do that. You'll continue to push push forward, but don't ever give up. And know that we're in your corner. And I promise you other people are in your corner. Find your circle. Find the people that will lift you up, not tear you down. We love y'all.